this really hurts. That used to be a lot easier when I was younger. Ah! We're here to discuss foot through ceiling. So, as you might be able to tell, there is a lovely little border. It's very common in Spain. My friend who's half Spanish, my carpenter, half Spanish and best mate, Luis, L-U-I-S, actually came up with the concept because it's quite common in Spain that they have borders round. Why do we have a border round? Because we didn't want to replaster the whole area because we didn't want to tatty up the edges. So why did we put this border in and plaster the middle? Because Paul put his foot through the ceiling. It's a picture of Paul's foot dangling from the ceiling. Now, if you look at this picture, I'll be honest, I did get Paul to come back and put his foot back in the hole just so we could take a picture. But it was quite funny. I was just sat through there doing a bit of paperwork, heard a bang. I told him to get some boards down rather than just walk on floor joists. He was laying the boards. I told him and offered to help him create a little walkway. He didn't do it. He knew better. He put his foot through my ceiling after it was finished and painted. Thank you, Paul. Anyway, <laughs> me and Paul are good mates, so it is what it is. He was actually the third person to put his foot through this ceiling. I've literally seen three people in 15, 20 years on site put their foot through ceilings, and three people have managed it at my house. One plasterer, one labourer psychologist, bless him, who thought you could stand on plasterboard, and Paulie. So anyway, so instead we put this little border up. This is actually just architrave, put it all the way round, corked it up, sealed it in, glued it to the ceiling to prevent cracking, glued the edges, which is why almost 10 years later we've got no cracking anywhere along it. I'll get the cameraman to do a little pan around it. We do have a cable hanging out there, which I still need to deal with in one corner. That was because my dad wanted, after it was finished, a light above the worktop. And then when my mum saw it, she went, why the fuck are we having a light above the worktop? She didn't swear, I swore, fuck it. <laughs> so it never got put up and I need to remove that. It's on my never ending list of things to do, which around running two businesses is quite tiring. But we might actually have to do it now because we can make a video about it. Up here, a couple of lights. These were surprising bastard because they hang how they want to hang. They don't hang how you get them to hang. So we played about with them and played about with them and we found they hang at this kind of twisted angle. So we took one, hung it at that twisted angle, and we took the other one, hung it at the opposite angle. You can notice to the keen eye, they're slightly out at the top, but we got the symmetry of the two hanging lights, which is what we wanted. We couldn't have one straight and one twisted because that would just not look right. So we've matched the twistedness. We've actually done them opposite so they mirror each other. It was a bit of a bugger. Get easier lights to fit, but <laughs> you know, sorts the boys from the men. 